And so the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. And Thomas, full of doubt at this moment, said, unless I see the marks on his hands or on his side, I will not believe. And then a week later, the disciples were all together and Thomas was there this time. And through the locked doors, the risen Lord appeared again and he said, peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, look and see. And he said also, blessed are those who do not see and yet believe. We are reminded that first the risen Jesus calmed the stormy fears of the disciples by giving them his peace. Secondly, he encouraged them to forgive others. And then finally, he said, as the Father has sent me, I send you. So in some ways, we are all sent out like doubting Thomases. And yet at times we forget that Thomas got a bad rap with this name because he was full of faith at times. If we look back on the story of Lazarus, he had told the other disciples into Jesus, let us go that we may die with Lazarus. And he was full of faith then. And so we might all be a little like Thomas at times in our lives because faith is a paradox and doubt is sometimes a part of our faith journey. And that we struggle with it, but faith is also a gift that we can receive from God. So we do have those moments of doubt and faith, and hopefully we get more faith as time goes on. But we don't have to miss out on seeing and hearing from God. We can encounter the living God when we do in fact enter into God's presence and peace. We can carry out the outreach and mission of God and see the risen Lord in the faces of those who we might serve and help in the words that they speak. And we know, and I know, and you all know, how Union Presbyterian Church has been a giving church that they have participated, and you have all participated, in the outreach and mission of God. So let me cite some of the things and ways in which all of you have been giving and going out and sharing love and gifts and money and help. So we know the rummage sales in the past year had not only helped to clean out our houses and our closets, but also that we raised money for different charities like the Ronald McDonald House of that helps out people. Then we also have the outreach that went to help the Rustic Ridge community, in which we also sold t-shirts to raise funds to help out those affected by this tragedy. Then we had the VBS fundraiser in which we gave to Tiny Causes, the animal shelter. Then we have the mission trip with Redstone Presbytery in which some of us have gone down to West Virginia and help to build and remodel a Christian recovery home. And then we have the fifth Sunday loose offerings that have gone to help out some of the schools in the area. Most recently, they helped Kiskey School and Plum School. And then we also have recently the blessing baskets that went to the oncology floor at Forbes Hospital. And then we also have the upcoming art and craft show, which will raise funds for the Apollo Food Bank. And we know that God is a missional God who sends us out to the world to participate in the Missio Dei, the mission of God. We too can experience God as we express our faith in both words and deeds. We can also see the risen Lord in other ones' faces as we help them. So may you enter into the peace of Christ. May you hold on to your faith. May you see the light as you go out and share the gospel and help others in the name of the Lord. So may you also believe and see and experience the risen Lord in your own life. Receive God's blessings and bless others. Amen.